I like to treat all of my audiences as if they're my own kids. Uh, I like to treat them and speak to them in a way that I wish someone had spoken to me. We have one day with these young people that could be defining and could be a day and a message that they will never forget. So I think it's really important that if you're working with young people and you're that trusted adult, remember the impact that you have in just those few moments that you're interacting with them or you're sending that message that they need to hear. So don't ever lose sight of the great responsibility that we have and the impact every single day. But he is a powerhouse. I know we all have a story in this room. Chef, people don't talk about that. You say, proudly? <laughs> yeah. Who's the hardest person to get to know? What do my words mean if you don't believe it yourself? Here's what I'm trying to say to you. If you wait for people to validate you, you're going to be disappointed. And part of your self-care in growing up as a woman, I want you to be able to wake up every day and look yourself in the mirror, and I want you to validate yourself every day. You gotta validate yourself. You don't know what these young ladies are coming in with, what baggage, what story, what family issues. And so our job is to just connect with them with a message that they may never ever forget. Are there any seniors in here? All right. What's your name? JC. JC. Very, very beautiful. Come here, JC, if you would, please. Don't worry, I'm not going to embarrass you. Matter of fact, let's give JC a round of applause. So, good. Now she feels validated and special. That's awesome. JC, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you 17? Yeah. I'm going to ask you a question, and, and I don't want you to. Be honest with me. I want nothing more important than you to just be honest with yourself. And as I ask you this question, they will ask themselves the same question, but we will not know their answer. We're only going to know your answer. As you look in the mirror and that reflection looks back, do you see a young lady as beautiful on the inside as the whole world sees you right now on the outside? Do you know why I picked you? Why? Because I looked at all the beautiful ladies here and I said, any seniors? And you guys all raised your hands here. And I looked at you and I said, wow, she's beautiful. I said, hey, you, come here. Number one, I want to thank you for being vulnerable in front of your peers. Number two, I want to tell you that probably every single young lady in here has the same answer. And that hurts me. Would you ever want to love someone who doesn't love themselves? Yeah. Are you one of those people that like to fix people, help people? You know what I've learned in all of my therapy? You can't pour from an empty pitcher. And so we want to give, give, give. And in giving, we start losing who we are and then we, we get burnt out. Nothing more important than us learning to love who we are. And so I want to challenge you. I want to challenge everyone. I, I, I want you to spend more time. When you look in the mirror, stop looking at how you look. And start spending more time looking at who you are. And I promise, when you start taking care of who you are, how you look will take care of itself. Yeah, that's really what it feels like in your belly. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a vegetarian. Eat your broccoli. I'll pass on broccoli. Eat your greens. Now these people don't get enough credit. Feeding 360, 370 kids. These are the people that need the credit. What do you got to say? Cooking up the desserts? Yeah, getting desserts ready. Little miniature cake bites, mini cheesecakes, brownies. Something the girls will love. Say it's your birthday! <laughs> <laughs> I think we should sing! Yes! Let's sing! Happy birthday! Boom! 
so this is a fetus at 12 years old. Weeks. <laughs> what did I say, 12 years? I'm sorry, this is a fetus at 12 weeks old. So that's like... You might not even know you're pregnant, and then you're like, OMG, I'm pregnant, and you get your test results back, and you're like, I'm pregnant, and that's like, I'm 12 weeks pregnant, and... We're, we're vlogging together. <laughs> you want a baby? You know I don't want a baby. This is one of those moments where you get to talk to a young lady. That conversation, is, you just, you never know the conversations you're having. Here's a young lady that didn't really talk about having a plan but she just talks about sometimes taking enough pills that she just won't wake up. Yeah, my color. Hello, Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> That's so sweet. She said, hi, mom. Mom on the lips, like I'm on the hips. Young lady just said she likes my tattoos. <laughs> and I said, that's my favorite. Where's Waldo? <laughs> that's right, where's Waldo? What did you learn from the workshop on body image by Lindsay and Lexi Kite? They told me that Jeff is perfect too. That would be funny, Emily, if you win the ticket and they have to read the evaluation. That would be like really weird. Her name is Emily. And I had a girlfriend in sixth grade named Emily. And, and she was hot. I called her Bubbles. Bam! That's Megan. We're, we're playing with filters on Snap Face. <laughs> Thank you very much to all the vendors that came out to support the conference and the kids. You guys were all a big hit. So that's a wrap, my friends. Ugh. I'm just kind of freaking out a little bit. All right, well, quick phone call. Uh, I'm gonna head to Huntsville, Alabama, drop the car off. Thanks, Avis. You're only charging me $141, it's pretty awesome. So I guess I'm gonna go to Alabama and ride the storm out and just pray that everyone is safe.